Hey what's going on everybody Diptesh here back with another video. This video is an update on the GCAM mod video that I had made earlier enabling things like proper 3x zoom shots in low light or 3x portrait mode images. But the biggest complaint about the previous GCAM mod configuration was the main camera was too oversaturated. And even though it was something that could be fixed in post, I am back with a better XML configuration that dials down the color saturation and greatly improves selfies. So let me just guide you to the installation process first and then we'll get to the results. First, download all the three files given in the drive link below. After the download is complete, go to your My Files and install your application. Install the GCAM mod. Then open up the application. Give it the permissions. Cool. You can enable things like HDR+. You can enable RAW or JPEG, you can enable auto white balance or not, whatever you wish. Okay, then go into your settings, click on configs, click on save config. Let's just create a dummy one, test, let's save it. Then go into your my files, you have the folder created now with the test XML. All you have to do is copy this XML from here. And also copy the library you can just move it i guess and just place it in this folder go back to your gcam mod swipe down go to settings go to configs do load and you can just load this config the bsg vip config there we go config has been loaded and if you wish you can also add a custom library that is go to library Go to load custom library, go to your downloads and load the library as well. Okay, that's done. Everything is ready. You can change some settings if you want and go to advance. You know, you have HDR plus control, ROM, JPEG. You can use a third party gallery. You can choose HEVC format for video recording and some other things, whatever you wish like. Okay, now let's see the color saturation situation. I have shot multiple images to show the difference and you can see that the Gcam shots are now more natural than the Samsung shots. Whatever you like is up to your preference though. Now what about faces? And again the new Gcam XML configuration has toned down colors compared to the stock Samsung shots. However, the front camera is a tiny bit more saturated, but trust me, the S20 FE's biggest weakness is its selfie camera, which is actually a lot undersaturated. My skin tone is definitely not as pale as this. Here are a few 3x portrait mode shots, and you can see the colors are perfect and the images are super detailed. Speaking of details, if you shoot human subjects, then the Gcam mod shots pack a lot more details. In fact, it's a bit too much, a bit too over sharpened in my opinion, but there is absolutely zero skin smoothening. Same for the selfie camera as well where the images using the Gcam mod is insanely detailed. However, not everything is perfect. Check this out. When you shoot an image with the light falling on your face, you get a nice crisp image with great exposure but if you are backlit or in a shade or in a low light situation the images from the gcam mod is just underexposed you have to raise the exposure manually which is not ideal
in these tough situations the stock camera is just better not as detailed but the exposure and dynamic range is far better and that's what's more important in these situations than details All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Try the Gcam mod and see for yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.